All right, fellas. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Get excited, you came to win. Four more punches.
All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up.
All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up.
We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. And there's the opening bell. Round number one, scheduled for four. This one is expected to be a thriller. Bryce is a fighter who takes such pride in knowing no man has ever conquered him. How can that play a role tonight, Sonny? Well, in the most important way, in confidence, number one, and also when you get into those dark areas, those tough corridors, you just remember what you have. You don't want to lose it. You don't want to give it up. You hold on to that. Come on. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Rice. Teddy, Southpaw versus Orthodox Fighter. So many times we've heard how useful the right hand can be in this matchup. Yeah, usually trainers love to tell Orthodox Fighters against the Southpaw that the right hand is the Dragon Slayer. Come on, get Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Good combination punching by the Assassin. The Assassin's good, clean, and effective punching damaged his opponent in that last round. Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. And he returns on that exchange. The Assassin's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter-punch landed with some success. Good-looking two-punch combo by the Assassin. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. He got hit, but he sends it right back. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by the assassin. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. And he ties up on the inside. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Circle. The assassin's ability to get to his man paid off well there. He damaged him in that round. Whatever he missed. And round number three is underway. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. And now another left. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Nice. There's the uppercut. One of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Rice's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times he has shown defense tonight. Other times, as what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. Final 10 seconds. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. This is it, man. They've put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. He's working the body. Good accuracy with that uppercut. The Assassin's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Very accurate two-punch combo by the Assassin. Well 
play shot came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Right to the head with that right. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by the assassin. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. Rice's right hand scores well that time. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by the Assassin. The Assassin's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Well, we told you how we saw it all night long. As for how the ringside judges saw it, let's send it to our ring announcer with the official decision. So a unanimous decision win by the Assassin. That's the way we saw it all night long. The judges agree. It was hard to see it any other way. It was a good one indeed. And All right, let's see how you do with some spark. Keep it coming, kid. Let's go.
with some real competition. Everybody, so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana, for our main event of the evening. Six rounds of heavyweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. And his opponent across the ring, coming out of Santa Fe. Pearson! All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Up 
up and down, side to side. What does the high stamina fighter want to do in the early stages of a fight against a guy who maybe isn't as conditioned? What he wants to do is make him work. Make him work when he's on the inside, make him work on the outside, walk him a little bit, make sure that at all times, mentally and physically, he's got those cylinders pumping. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Not precise at all by the assassin. Halfway through round number one. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Good exchange. He fires back. Nice work with the uppercut. Now he ties up there. Don't stay in one spot. Right back to it to the head. that uppercut. Very nice defensive guard there. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by the assassin. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right at it. Here we go. Round two is underway. <laughs> Scored well up top. A headshot block. Sending out the power shot. It was a straight left hand. Assassin's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Able to cover up that gut. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. An unveiling of sorts here. An amateur fighter now turning pro. What are some of the first things you look for to see how he's handling that kind of atmosphere, the pro game? Oh, it's a christening, of course. The thing that I concentrate on is the first round. You know, really talk to him before the first round. Go out there with your fundamentals. Be real alert. Just get him past the first round. As soon as he sits on that stool, you know what I tell him? Hey, the worst is over. Now it's just a regular fight. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. The assassin's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Hits him in the mug with the right. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. The assassin's commitment to being judicious and effective really worked out well there. The punch stats prove it. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. You're not focusing. Double up on those punches. Double up. Come on, double up on the punches. Good, 
90 seconds to go here in this round. Combo lands to the head. He just missed that shot up top. Shooting right hand by Pearson. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good work defensively by the assassin. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Pearson's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. One, two, baby, one, two, keep them popping, keep them popping. They both decide to bring it. He missed with that headshot. The assassins landed a good, solid combination. That's a fierce left hand that landed by the assassins. Good flush shot upstairs. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Halfway through round number four. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Targeting a left hand down low. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. The assassin's got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot, but his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the Big, big shot he just scored with. Right to the head and right to the canvas. One, two, three, four, five. Pearson's back up on his feet. What will he look like? In the next few moments of this fight, that's the big question. Accurate hook. And now he finds some room and he gets away from the ropes. Boy, another solid round for him. Teddy, this is one of the best displays of precision punching we've ever seen. And if precision had a relative, had a cousin, guess who it would be? It would be timing. Because the timing has been perfect and has allowed him to be so precise. And yet another right hand lands. That's a good sharp hook by Pearson. He scored well after being hit himself. The assassin's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like Pearson's. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. Pearson's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Still plenty of time to work here in round number Keep five. Watching, minute and a half to go. Good stuff. Great action this round. Just a minute 30 in, and they're going all out. I'm tired just watching it. Imagine how they feel. Targeting that overhand left. 
That's where he wants to be able to do some damage with his opponent backed up against the ropes. What? What? Solid hook upstairs. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Pearson scoring with that right hand. Left hook to the head, and a right uppercut as well. To the head he goes with a left hand. A little head hunting with the right. The assassin showing you a little big, big shot comes crashing home. Unbelievable, just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And round five comes to an end. Pearson's got to come up with something here because his eye just closed. Yeah, well, what he has to do is his opponent knows what he has to do. His opponent has to throw punches from that side. What he has to do is take that side away from him, position himself in the ring where those punches are not available to his opponent. The Assassin's picking up right where it Pearson's back by... Look at that! Knocked down again! Unreal! Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it! It's over! Fight is over! The Assassin's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, the winner, the assassin. So here we are, late in the fight, just coasting along, and then that happens. And that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along. Everybody was comfortable. Everybody thought nothing big's going to happen. We're going to wrap it up. And that's when something like this does happen. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.